Okay, John, one of the things Australian uh, startup companies complain about all the time is that there isn't enough venture capital here for them. You know, they say there is money for uh, larger projects, but right at the, at the start, you know, when people are raising maybe a million or a couple of million or even hundreds of thousands, they say it's very, very hard to get access to that money. There are, of course, what we call angel investors, which are typically high net worth individuals who put a bit of money here and there, but they're often hard to find and uh, it's, you know, for startup guys, it's very difficult. Now, you've got a new business called Our Crowd, which you founded and uh, you're the chief executive of, which seeks to use crowdsourcing to get money for startup companies. So just, just talk us through that and tell, tell us how that's working, um, you know, and how you hope it will change the availability of capital for startup companies. Yeah, crowdfunding is a huge worldwide monster revolution that's happening. It's happening in peer-to-peer -peer lending with companies like Lending Club that are already lending billions of dollars without banks over the internet. It's including sites like... Just explain that. So, so, so uh, Lending Club, that means I can get on that site and I've got $100,000 to lend and you want to borrow $100,000 and right. I can lend it directly to you. Directly to me. We don't need to go through a bank. You know? mm -hmm. I'm, I'm uh, paying less as the borrower. You're making a hell of a lot better return mm -hmm. on your uh, money than you are in a normal bank. And this now has become a huge business. Google's invested, okay. uh, et cetera. Anyway, back to your business. Okay. And then and, uh, what we're doing is we're providing the same kind of internet-based aggregation to solve this problem of how to get enough money into startups early. And the idea is that angels as individuals have a tough time. Angels basically need to go source their deals, negotiate the deals, handle all the legal details, and then they gotta follow it all by themselves. It's a very lonely business. And occasionally, you get together some other angels and it's very ad hoc, and they're not protected. Now, what we would like to do is to provide sort of a venture capital wrap, if you will, to angels and then have these angels aggregate over the web. So the way that crowdfunding works is that uh, either the site allows you to post your company uh, up and say, you know, invest in me, or in my case, like at our crowd, we actually curate the opportunities. I have a team of people who go out there and look for deals and opportunities. We decide which ones we like, we actually put our own money into the deal, and then we invite angels to join us. And so far, this was a new idea, I had no idea really if, if people would actually invest over the internet. And I remember the first time that first $50,000 investor came online, we didn't know who he was, and within 10 minutes was pushing a button and there was $50,000, we wanted to dance a jig. And today we've actually managed to um, conclude 28 financings of a total of $24 million since February. And, to give and you these are all for Israeli companies? Uh, 24 out of the 28 are Israeli. One in Australia, we've already made our first investment here. Mm -hmm. We hope to do more in Australia. But I think this is a way to really unlock a lot more power. The data I saw just recently about angel investment in the Australian market was that there's a few tens of millions of dollars that are being invested. And that's clearly not enough in a country with such huge resources, with such you know, deep pockets. So, so how much is being invested by angel investors in Australia, you understand? Uh, I, I understand it was something like $26 million. This is Price Waterhouse. Price Waterhouse data. And what is it in Israel? Over $500 million. So we're about, we're about 20x Australia in absolute terms, but if you adjust for population, it's about 60x. Um, so the idea is how do you you know, goose this. How do we get more angels together? And I think it's by creating structures on the internet and providing the regulatory relief so people can do this and not go to jail. Yeah. Um, so that you can actually take not just two angels or three angels, but take 50 angels, take 100 angels, put them together in a venture wrapper, find good deals, let them choose which ones they would like to participate in, and then all of a sudden, instead of your 10,000 or 25 or 50,000 individual check, you actually have a million or two million or three million dollars, which is critical money. And I am certain that crowdfunding worldwide is going to be billions of dollars of capital coming into you know, a very, very important uh, time in this entrepreneurial culture. Is anyone else raising money for venture capital, startup type businesses in, at this level? Absolutely. There are now about two dozen different platforms around the world, most of them in America, some of them in Europe. I don't, I'm not aware of any uh, exist in Australia. Mm -hmm. But this is now a new gold rush, and you will be hearing more and more about crowdfunding for equity. 
The United States Securities and Exchange Commission just this week released a whole bunch of proposed new regulations that will actually broaden this phenomena beyond the accredited or sophisticated investor. Today, to, you have to actually be a person of means. To do this legally, either in Australia... Is, you've got to be... It, it, it's limited to a certain high net worth. worth consenting adults. That's correct. In other words, you've got to be, you know, be somebody who caveat and tour mm. means something. Yeah, okay? yeah, right. And, um, but what the U.S. has now moved to do is to open this up to everybody. Now, there'll be limitations. If you're a person not really of means, they'll limit you to $5,000 or you know, the grand total of $100,000 in, in certain companies. The actual portals are going to be under some kind of regulation with FINRA and other regulatory bodies. But they're now moving towards a, a new era where everybody will be able to invest in startups so that they buy stocks. And this, I think, heralds really good news for the entrepreneur. Because the biggest problem has not been lack of innovation, certainly in Australia. Mm. Australia has given the world great things such as Wi-Fi or the cochlear implant. And the fact that there is so much innovation here among, I think, a very, call it uh, irrepressible people with mm. real chutzpah, to use a, you know, a Yiddish term, cheek, okay, and the people are really out there trying to do something, but there simply hasn't been enough money to back them. Mm. And I think that in addition, not to replace venture capital, not to replace traditional angel investing, but alongside, there'll now be a new third leg of this whole ecosystem, it'll be called equity crowdfunding. Very interesting, John. Thanks very much. My pleasure.